We have some nasty surprises inside the garage. Some wooden box. Not sure why it's here. Not sure. Here we have other people things. Some dirty stuff inside. Let's go close to the car. To the car. Here it is with a lot of dust. some water inside very very lots of this Some magic trick. Nothing is pressed. As you can see, very dirty floor mats, which we will clean today. And this is the left. This is the rear. This one is also dirty. I think all four needs to be cleaned up. Let's turn the ambient light so we will be able to see better. This is dirty. This is dirty as well. This is very, very dirty. So I think all four needs to be cleaned up. Unfortunately. So I will probably do this in a to weigh procedure the holders here other cup holders my extra space for chargers here and other things Sport Plus. Okay, let's turn the, off the light. I will start taking these for the cleaning. Here is the place where I clean my car, and this time I will clean my floor mats. As you can see, it's well lit. It have machine to make your change of your big money. I will start cleaning my floor mats. I will first use water. After that, I will use chemical guys uh, to, to clean them. And after that, as a final step, I will apply brush. And as a after that, I will wash them with water. And this is it, what I plan to do currently. Chemical guys, the solution, the brush, gloves, and the format. Let's begin. Special dedicated pro tip for you, everyone. So when you clean your, when you wash with water your your uh, floor mats, here are they. Uh, the, my first suggestion is if you have two cars, you can you can wash the the floor mats of the one car first uh, using the other car that way 
you will have especially when it's the winter here is uh, right now the winter uh, i will bring this at home and i will dry this in air conditioning room so i will be able to to install into the car perfectly uh perfectly uh as you can see there is still water perfectly dried floor mats that way i would not damage the electronics computers easier make moisture make other issues with the car so i also decided that uh, for myself i i don't have enough bags currently uh, i will i will clean them by pair so i will clean two floor mats right now i i already cleaned them i will only need to dry them and install them right away and the next time i will i will i will clean just the, the, the other two and uh yeah uh again this is very very good if you have two cars but imagine you have one car and it's the winter and you have four floor mats to clean for example imagine i i currently have two cars in the past i also have three cars but if one day i have one car i will also clean the, the these by pairs i will for example clean first the rare ones or first i will clean three depends on the depends how many people i drive in the car but the pairs is more suitable because if i clean the rares first i will dry them again at home i will put them in bags and after that i will swap rare floor mats into the front for a temporary solution and in that way i will be able to clean the front floor mats as well uh of course without ruining ruining the car without uh, making moisture moisture and other things so that's my solution and i will show you the final result very very soon so let me show you uh the result it's here the result is before these are completely washed out but it's pretty 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 good as you can see I also want to, to inform you that uh, if you see somewhere, some places where there are some marks, that's not from the brush. Uh, that's because these floor mats are uh, very, very old. They are almost 15 years old. So this mark, for example, here, this is probably from the previous owner or some someone who have uh, I don't know some boots or I don't know but that's not from the brush here we have another mark uh, but as you can see these are cleaned very very well which is which is quite cheap because on the um, on the place where I clean them, I spent around one euro. So for the water only, I use it water twice. Once to for the pre-cleaning procedure to make them. Uh, first, I use water to loosen the dirt easily, uh, and to combine with my chemical from the chemical guys. I'm not that's not sponsored video. And the second part, after I use the brush to clean these and to apply the the cleaning solution. I use it water to uh, completely remove the cleaning solution. Again, all of the marks are because these are old and they're worn. That's not some dirt or something like that, even if it looked like that in the camera. That's the, that's the first floor mat. And here is the second one. Uh, again, this, for example, that's from either from previous owner or something else. That's not from the brush. Um, here, as you can see, these are like new. I mean, they're very, very, very clean. If you can compare them to the extreme dirt that they have and what i can say if you want yours to be clean like that 
you can get uh, yourself some cleaning solution. It doesn't matter the brand. I prefer chemical guys. Uh, go to your favorite uh, washing place or if you have a garage or place to wash them. And uh, as you can see here, they are still not completely dry. If you put this inside your car, that will be a shame because you can damage the electronics, you can damage the computers, cables, corrosion, a lot of things. So I will, I will dry them at least probably a day or two here in the air conditioning room. And after that, I will um, install it into the car. So again, if you like yours to be like this, uh, go to your favorite place. First, buy yourself cleaning solution, buy a brush. I use household brush, um, apply, apply water into them, apply cleaning solution, use the brush technique to brush them, and uh, and wash them and uh, dry them and uh, that's it, I mean Here we have uh, which is which. Do not place on top of the existing mats. Here are some warning. Passenger side install mat. Security with clips. These are genuine front of the vehicle. So basically first one is for the passenger. Second one is for the driver, again. But as you can see, it's worn, worn a lot because again, it's more than 10 years old and it, it was used quite a lot. Here we have even missing marks. So if you like my videos, keep watching them, sharing, subscribe and uh, leave them to dry well and uh, share my videos, rewatch, subscribe, enjoy and never install a uh, not dry it uh, four months in your car because it will avoid to your damage especially when the car is more expensive see you next time